Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jackie Messina Kyubu, aka GMK, and welcome to Real Talk. I understand it's Mother's Day today. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And um, today I'm not going to talk about Corona. I think there's enough that has gone around about Corona. Honestly, for me, what I believe is that we should just pray, follow the different guidelines that have been given to us, and everything will be fine. Okay? The Lord will protect us. For those people who have lost their loved ones because of this cause around the globe, my sincere, sincere sympathies. And um, basically, we thank God that Uganda only has one case as of today. So we pray that the ministry can be able to keep this at bay and curb it, you know, from being spread. Today, I want to talk about the adoption journey. Um, on my status, I wrote something like, I put a baby. And then I said that I'll let you know about what it's all about. Um, when I was young, my mom used to visit Sunny Baby's home a lot. And I remember there was a lady, I think the director, I think the one who started it, I'm not so sure. But she was called Auntie Jo. And we used to go there a lot. And I think that's when the seed was planted in my heart that one day I would adopt a child at the right time. So I decided to adopt a child about four years ago but i think because it wasn't the, the lord's timing it wasn't time for us to actually bring a baby home when i think about it actually the kids were still young yeah but we always try and see what we can do but the lord is always there to tell you the right the right time or not so anyway um at the beginning of january when nicole was preparing to go to university that's when i sat the kids down I told them that guys I want to adopt a child and I was lucky or blessed or we thank God that they were all receptive and they were like oh mom it's fine and Nicole was leaving for Australia and I told them that I'm going to start on the process so I started on the process and there's a lot of stuff that is needed so I went to Sunny Baby's home and I met a director called Barbara one of the sweetest women I've ever met and I told her that I wanted to adopt a child. Now, the funny thing is that I had gone with Rosie. Rosie has been with me since I don't know how long. And she has brought up my kids from when they were young. And I went to Sunny Babies with her. And the minute I reached there, I mean, there were so many kids on the mattress. You know, they were outside. It was afternoon. It was hot. So the kids were outside. And my eyes just landed on this kid. And I carried this kid up. And I walked to the director's office and I told her I want to adopt this boy. She told me, Jackie, don't. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to identify a child. Like, before you even start on the process, I told her, I want this boy. She said, you know, the cases where parents identify a child and by the time you get to know it, the parents or the relatives of this child come up and then you get disappointed. I told her, this is the boy I want. Anyway, she gave me this list of things that I needed to get and provide. And it's a long list, including Interpol, including the LC, including KCCA, including social workers visiting your home, probation officers from KCA visiting your home, including so much getting medical reports. It was crazy. Reference letters from I don't know who, relatives, friends, work, the workplace. But I managed to get everything. And... Um, when I handed over all these documents, Barbara was like, okay, now it's time for the social worker. She introduced me to someone called Jessica, who's also very sweet, and told me that Jessica has to visit your home. So they came to visit my home to see whether it is suitable for a child. And then after that, they have to make a report and then send it to KCCA. And then KCCA also has to come and visit your home, make a report. It's quite a long process. But during that time, I was visiting Sunny Baby's home and I was always seeing this child, visiting this child. And it was even funny that the kids started calling me Mama Edward. At the home, he was called Edward. So they started calling me Mama Edward. And because I could, I was just coming to bond with this child. Because in my heart of hearts, this is the child I wanted. One, because it kind of like looked like my last born. And they kind of like have the same color and my heart just wanted this child. So anyway, 
um, the whole process went on and they now had to put the newspaper advert to inform people that, you know what, if there's anybody who is coming up to pick up this child, this child, you know, it's here at Sammy Babies and was praying because that ad has to run for two weeks. So I was just praying to God, God, please let nobody come up for this child. And thankfully to God, nobody came up for this child. So the 16th of March, which is which was Nicole's birthday as well, Nicole turned 21, I was supposed to pick up Jesse. And I go there, and just before I went there, back from me, Brenda calls and says, I'm making a free cake for Jesse. Then I have a friend called Lawrence who has a bakery called the Orange Bakery. He also said he's gonna make a free cake. I was like, wow, favor is already flowing. I already had some people who were already sending in money because of course, you know me, I'm a drama queen. I really told people, you know what, there needs to be adoption, adoption shower and things like that. And people had already started sending in a little bit of money here and there to help with the stuff. Now, when I went on the 16th of March to pick up Jesse, it was quite, it's a mixture of sad and happy because remember that there are other kids there and because they don't, I think the, the home didn't want really people to feel like this guy is going, so they kind of like sing happy birthday to you because when they're cutting the cake, but the kid is actually leaving. And there are certain kids who came to me and they were like, when am I being taken? When am I also being taken? You know? So it's quite sad, but it was very, it was kind of like, for me it was one of those days of I'm bringing a kid home, you know? It has changed my life completely. You know, for the boys who are used to being home and making noise and putting their volumes, I don't know what, for me that has changed. Because when Jess is asleep, there has to be silence. Because getting him to sleep is also another issue. For me at night, my world has gone like upside down. Because I totally had forgotten from 14 years ago what it means to wake up in the middle of the night. So, but he's a blessing. So why am I telling you this story? Of adoption and why am I telling you that now I have four children Nicole Jordan Jason and Jesse because if you have it in your heart of hearts to adopt a child this is the time to adopt a child there's so many kids who need a loving home if the Lord has blessed you with children if the Lord actually has not blessed you with children this is the time for you to actually get a child so Scovia this is the time for me to show you people Jesse. I want you to see how sweet he is, how awesome he is. He, he loves smiling. So I just want to do the ah, pretty. Yeah, I love to. Look at this girl. Say hi. Hi. Anna, say hi. Jesse. So this is Jesse. And, um, he was blessed with the name. Exactly, those are the noises he makes. He was blessed with the name Jesse, and uh, I named him after my brother, my late brother Godwin Kansime. And then his grandfather said, "So now he's called Jesse Godwin Kansime Kiguguru. So that's Jesse for you guys. So now, yes, I start on the fostering process, and then after one year, we go through the adoption process to fully get him a smile so i love you all keep yourself safe may the lord shine his light upon all of you and bless you all i love you and this is real talk